Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes channel. Let's go together today and see how you replace fuel pre-filter on the Mercedes-Benz diesel engine. We are looking at a 1987 Mercedes-Benz 300D which is the body W124 and this is so-called OM603 turbo diesel engine. It's very easy to locate that fuel pre-filter because it's right here and it's very easy to get to it. Here you can nicely see how that pre-filter looks like. I have down there the spill catching pan nicely ready so all I have to go grab a Phillips screwdriver and we can start. I will start with cleaning this area because I don't want to introduce any dirt into the fuel system. We are trying to do quite opposite. And using my Phillips screwdriver I will loosen both screws on the inlet and also on the other side. I have everything ready for replacement and to minimize spills I will do it as quick as possible. So I start here on the bottom, put a new filter there, remove it from here, drop it down and connect it here. Excellent. Now it's not leaking anymore. I will immediately fasten those Phillips screws so the clamps are nicely grabbing the filter on both sides. And I follow immediately with cleaning as much as possible of that fuel spill. Here you can see the detail of the old pre-filter. This is the inlet side and you can see these chunks, the grains, which the filter nicely stopped uh, from coming to the uh, pumps and uh, the secondary filter. Uh, dealing with older vehicles isn't always easy. You can see this is the feed pump and this is the line coming from the gas tank through the pre-filter, but as you can see it's not going direct to the feed pump. It's going into the, the fuel preheater. It's a heater. And when I was working here, I moved of course this line and look what's happening. There is a large leak from that fuel heater so I will have to modify it I will have to bypass that heater completely and I will have to hook that pre-filter direct to the lift pump so I was so I was lucky enough that I had uh, another hose fuel hose sitting around so I was able to cut nice piece, suitable piece to connect the fuel line direct to the feeding fuel pump. But look on the detail of the fuel filter. I didn't even run the vehicle yet and look how much dirt is in it already. And it might be the inner part of this hose which is relatively short. So I will go ahead and change that fuel hose too. So here you can see brand new line. The red is the pre-filter. Another new line and the lift pump. Down there, that cleaned area and that open nipple or inlet, that's the part which failed. That's that fuel heater. Those new lines are 516 or 8 millimeter fuel lines and, and here you can see the bad lines and the old pre-filter. Of course I'm not done now I have to go start up the engine and again check for the possible leaks. Everything is good and dry. So that was a great example when the plant service we should take approximately five minutes took almost entire hour 
working on the older cars you never know what will happen next or which part will break or something like that. Please stay tuned because I will have way more repair videos for you about the Mercedes-Benz. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.